Hi again, YouTubers. So it is that time of month for Face of the Month. This is the look I did uh, this month. Uh, different foundation, different lip, a uh, slightly different eye, just a little bit darker than what I would normally do. Um, and yeah, I've really been enjoying it. I use the Vissi Art palette again, um, but I do some different, like I use Kat Von D lip uh, products. I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear to Go. And uh, yeah, so I'm really enjoying it. And he was sleeping through the whole video, but I, well, he is awake now. And so my door is closed. So this is Scotch. This is Scotch. He is a blue French Bulldog. Come here. He is a little blue French Bulldog. And we picked him up on Sunday the, what was that, the 13th? Hi. What you doing? And he is a cutie pie here. Let me turn him around so you can see him. He's such a cutie. We're so happy. He's the sweetest little puppy. I talk about him a lot through this video, but he was over here sleeping. So now he's awake. So we're going to go play and I hope you guys enjoy it. And let's get started. So I have been priming my face this month with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Do you guys have any good primer suggestions? Um, I have been using primer because I have changed my skincare. If you follow my vlog videos or have seen my most recent videos, um, I have been using the Obagi skincare and my skin's been, it's actually been doing really fine with it. It just gets a little bit patchy towards the end of the day. I really like the feel of this primer. I have tried the Hourglass one. That one doesn't really work for me. I do love the Guerlain ones, um, but I don't feel like they just give my skin a nice healthy glow. I don't feel as if they truly are priming it and helping it not break apart, I guess. Uh, I have been using the Estee Lauder Double Wear to Go in the color 3N1 Ivory Beige. <clears throat> I have been using the Sedona Lace FB07. I don't even remember if this comes in a set or not. I do one little pump. I try and see how far that can get me. I kind of just like tap it around on the brush so you can see there's still most of the drop there. And then I just kind of I've been stippling it on. I have not been wanting a very thick foundation lately because of the way my skin's been a little bit, not irritated, but blotchy, I would say. Um, <clears throat> it's um, it's kind of just, I, I don't want to irritate it any more than it already is by like dragging more product on it. And I also feel like if I use too heavy of a product, it um, it also tends to show the flaking even more than it would normally. And of course my neck is like a totally different color than my face, but we'll work up to that. I don't like to do too dark of a foundation. There's like hardly anything on here. I'm just kind of like moving the brush around. Um, I don't like to, I used to go with the darker foundation, but then I found when I was doing that and matching my neck exactly, then I was adding bronzer and it was just making me look really bad. So you can see, so I use one and a half pumps. Not too much, not too bad. Um, I'm really enjoying this brush. I've just kind of been playing with it. Next thing is the Urban Decay Naked Powder, Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation in Light Neutral. Um, I love this. Oh, this is my new one. Darn it, I meant to use my old one. <laughs> I have a new one. You'll see it in the haul coming up soon. So this one's getting towards the end. The Marc Jacobs Face 2 or 1 brush, not sure. I'll link it below been tapping this on as well. Again, I have not been wanting to like drag at my skin too much. I've been just powdering it loosely. Um, so yeah, I've been playing with that. But yeah, so I'm going to show you guys a new eye look. It has been incredibly warm around here, which has been amazing because we got the puppy this week on Sunday. We ended up picking him up Sunday night and he's so sweet. He's sleeping right now. So uh, when he wakes up, I will show him to you guys too. And uh, so this month has gotten a wet Kat Von D shade and light palette. I've been using this middle one with the Hourglass number two brush. It's like kind of angled like this. So I tap it into there and then I tap it onto the mirror and I just kind of do that same thing right where I want color on both sides. Uh, so yeah, so we got the puppy and he is the sweetest little thing. Like he just loves MJ and follows MJ everywhere. MJ's at school right now. Um, 
but he lo he loves MJ. Like he follows him everywhere. It's the cutest thing. Um, he is now he will be by the time this video goes up, he will be nine weeks old. So we got him a little bit after he turned eight weeks old. I always do my ears just to make sure that they're not kind of left out and looking funny. Um, if I'm looking for to do a little bit more like sculpting, I'll take this Sephora Pro 56 brush and I use that lighter peach shade. If I feel like I messed it up or I want it to be a little bit more sculpted. So yeah, so I've been doing that. Um, but yeah, it's been so fun and he's so sweet and he's doing really good about sleeping. Like he only wakes up twice a night. He goes to bed with us and we go to bed around 10 ish. Um, and he goes in his kennel. I'm crate training him and he sleeps there and he usually wakes up around 1 2 o'clock. NARS Pro Prime. Um, he usually wakes up around one or two o'clock. I take him outside. He pees. He comes back in. He goes right in the kennel. Doesn't make a pet peep. As long as you're in the room, he does not make a noise in that kennel. He doesn't mind it at all. Um, Anastasia Brow Wiz in soft brown. Um, and when he's around you, he just sleeps and he's he's super like he's content wherever you are as long as he's in the same room as you. Um, but at night, he goes right back into the kennel and doesn't complain about it. I'm going to do this one first. And uh, I've been starting on the outer corner instead of the inner lately. I don't know why. It's just been working for me. And so um, he's been, then he gets up usually around 4.30 or 5. And then he has been um, going back in and going to sleep again. That time I find he tends to make a couple little noises, but he usually stops within five minutes. And then, um, I don't know, do you think they look different? And then, um, this is my trouble one. And then he sleep. well, he stays in his kennel until about seven. And he gets up and he comes out and he eats until, and that gives him time to eat, like, kind of by himself, you know, not with MJ around because he follows MJ everywhere. Until MJ wakes up and then we go up and get MJ and the two of them kind of play and hang out until whatever we have going on. But he is only in the kennel if we are not at home. So, I don't know. Like, I mean, I, if you see my vlogs, you'll see him way more often. <laughs> Probably overload. Um, take the other side, the brush. Especially on the front end, and I brush it out. And the back end, I just kind of lightly brush it out. So, yeah, it's been really fun. And I've been so glad it's been nice out. That's been so helpful. Crazy helpful. Because, um, and benefit, give me brow because it's not freezing outside, so when I'm getting up in the middle of the night, I'm not having to like load on a bunch of clothes for me to go out and take them out. Um, so let's see here, flipping that back around. I have been using the Viseart 01 Neutral Matte Palette. Doing things just a little bit different. Sephora Pro number 19, and I dip it into this peach color. Sometimes I add a little bit of this here, but mostly the peach color. And I'm kind of going all, oh, I wasn't paying attention. I went to look at what, all over my lid and up into my crease and up almost onto the brow bone. Just really messy, nothing, like nothing precise. Just flopping it all on there and making it really fluffy and diffused. So yeah, we've been having a ton of fun with him. He's so good. He's only had a very few accidents in the house because we do take him out every two hours on the two hours. And after he eats or drinks, give them minimum of 30 minutes and then you take them outside. And he's been doing really good. So uh, he has pooped only, this is way too much information, only outside, which is really great so far. So then I take a mixture of these two with the Hourglass number four brush. And I mix those two in, and I tap them off, and I just put them right in the crease. So you can see it right there, and it looks messy right now. It's fine. That's not a big deal. That's kind of what we're going for here. Okay, so you see that? Kind of messy, kind of all over the place, but that's what we want. <clears throat> I go back with the Sephora Pro 19, the one that I had already used. And then I just blend it out. So again, this is nothing like crazy or difficult. It's just like 
a step up from what I was doing. Just a little bit different. Sephora Pro number 15, the tiny little one, with this color right here. And then I just go up and do my brow bone. Same thing on the other eye. And then I take that same Sephora Pro 19 and just blend it up in case any of it came down or it was a little bit too much that came down. So then I take the Sephora Pro 18 and I take it in this one right here with this darker brown, just a slight touch of the darker brown. Tap it off and I go, I just kind of stamp it. And I only go about halfway in. I don't take this one all the way in. But I do make sure I take it all the way to that outer corner. Because you will end up with fallout if you're not like just stamping in. If you brush it in, it gets some fallout to it. So do that. Then I take the It Cosmetics. I do this every time. Uh, is this one the 217 or two? I have one that's 217 and one that's 227. I always forget which one's which. Let's see here. So this is the 217. Okay, tiny little eyeliner brush. The Makeup Forever Aqua Black Waterproof Cream Eyeshadow <clears throat> in the pot. And I don't know why I just tapped that off. <laughs> and I've just been doing like a little bit of a tight line. Not, I'm sorry, a line that is tight in to my lashes, not a tight line tight lines on your waterline. I am not with it this morning. So yeah, we are loving the puppy. So if you don't follow me on like social media where I talk about him all the time <clears throat> or um, oh, the little thing fell off on social media or um, you don't watch my vlog videos, uh, his name is Scotch and he is a, and I do a little wing. So by the way, I've been using the lid and kind of just like getting the right amount of product on it without too much. And I literally just set this down and drag it in. And then I do the same thing this way. And if you can see there, I made a little like triangle and I go through and just touch it down, color it in. Okay. And then I do the same thing on the other side. So anyway, <clears throat> if you don't follow me uh, on these things. He is a French Bulldog. His color is blue. He looks gray. He kind of looks like the color of a Weimaranger, if you've ever seen one of those. Um, but the color is called blue. And he has blue eyes and he's like a, an interesting gray color. Um, and his name is Scotch. I forget if I said that part yet. And it's named after, it's kind of a joke. But it, we were throwing names back and forth, and this was just kind of what stuck. Hold on. This side's my worst side, so I'm not so good at talking while I do this side. Haha. <laughs> so his full name will be Johnny Walker Blue Scotch. Because the color's blue. So I then take just a little towel I have on my lap, and I wipe this brush off really good. Okay, and then I kind of just... Make sure it flattens back out. Then I go back in with that Viseart palette. Viseart? Viseart? I don't know. I do that every time, huh? And I go in with the black. Now, it is not like the blackest black you've ever used, but it softens it up. So I go back in and then I just touch it down onto that so-called cream shadow, which is really like a gel liner. Make sure to tap this off or you're going to have major fallout under your eyes, which sometimes I still do. So this kind of deepens it and it also softens it. Make it by Tiffany D does this a lot. I'm sure that's where I figured it out. So I really like it though. It's a nice effect. It gives you a nice look to it. It helps it stay, I swear, longer throughout the day. So that's that part. And then I just always <clears throat> wipe that brush back off again. Really decent. Sometimes go in, just flip it back over, and just make sure I have all that kind of smudged out the way I want it to. Then I go in with my Surratt 
eyelash curler. Love this thing. Been starting on this eye recently. So I just pump it a couple times. I just flipped this and now I need to flip back. <laughs> pump it a couple times, hold it a couple seconds. No set anything. And then I go, oh, see all that? I have some black on my cheeks now. So what I tend to do if I see that is I try to dust it off, but then I do this with the foundation brush just to get rid of anything there. All right, then I go in with the transplanting gel mascara first. And I start all the way at the base and work my way up. I have a review on this that just posted recently. This stuff is awesome. I have not used another mascara hardly ever since this unless it's just like a quick don't care day don't feel good whatever and don't want to be bothered but if i am doing my makeup i am using this mascara it is amazing and then onto the fibers and you don't go all the way down with the fibers onto like almost your waterline like you would with the mascara mostly doing it from about halfway out of your lashes if that makes sense Okay, and now you want those to sit. You want the fibers to sit and like dry. So while that's happening, go to your other eye and start curling that one. Or if you don't curl your lashes, simply do something else like your lipstick or I don't know, your blush, anything you want to, concealer, whatever you feel like doing in between. So back with that transplanting gel. And this eye, this eye is always my, it's funny, this is my difficult eye for my brow, for my liner and for my mascara. This eye just doesn't like me, I guess. I guess it's because I'm a righty. <laughs> the right side likes me. Left side doesn't. But yeah, so let's see here. We are getting ready to go to our K-Pal. Well, we're going to go to Western Massachusetts for Christmas. And we'll stay there for a little bit, and then we'll go to our Cape house and stay there until after the New Year. We all go out for New Year's. That'll be fun. We have a bunch of friends coming into town, so that'll be really fun. Um, the fibers. And, uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. We're doing Christmas this Sunday with my side of the family here at my house. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then, oh, I had like a good, there we go. I had a little clump there that I saw. So uh, we're going to do that. And then um, we leave Tuesday. Wow back with the transplanting gel. So I am also pre-taping some videos. So if you see this makeup look again, it's probably because later on today, I'm going to try and sit down and do another one of these because while I'm gone, I don't plan on, that's kind of like my week of not doing anything. Oh, I don't want to go back to that one yet. What am I doing here? Goodness gracious. So I have been using this strawberry lip balm from Smith's. I've been putting this on my lips. Most times I do it right after my foundation. Today I forgot. Because my lips have been so dry, guys. So bad. So now I'm going to go back to that other side. So I just want to give it that little extra second or so to just dry in those fibers. Because the longer those fibers sit on there before you put another layer on, the better they stick. Or at least I think so. Alright, so there we go is done. On to, um, let's see here. Oops, helps if I flip the mirror. Sometimes if I feel like I just need a little bit different warmth, I go in with the Hourglass bronzer, like just to match my neck a little bit more. I just, if I feel like I need some warmth. There we go. Just felt like I needed a little touch up there. So Urban Decay Naked Concealer in Medium Light. And I've just been kind of drawing a couple lines on under my eyes. And I have been, I've gone back to using the Bare Essentials Max Coverage Concealer Brush. And I've been just tapping this on. It's just been giving me better coverage. I'm finding as this season has gone on and this weather has gone back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. As much as I am not complaining, I love the warmer weather, um, I'm finding that my allergies are worse, which is causing my bags under my eyes to be worse and the darkness under my eyes to be worse. So when I'm doing this, 
it's not giving it as much movement and giving it a little bit more coverage. I always wipe that brush off. I don't know why. It's funny. You know how you have some you do and some you don't? That one I always do. I've been taking this Wayne Goss number two brush. It's honestly the only brush I liked of the brushes I got from him. And I just simply go through all three, tap it off, and I've been setting under my eye this way. Same thing on the other side. And then whatever's left, I kind of bring up in the center right here. Kind of do that. And then, oops, oh, that's one of my hairs. <laughs> then I have been using Marc Jacobs in Primrose. Blot that off a little bit. It's hard to talk when you do this part. <laughs> So then I just kind of blend it in a little bit because of that, that balm I had on, it makes it easier. See how that just blends it out there, really nice. I have been using this color, um, the Kat Von D Loves, Lovesick. Where is it? Yeah, I think it's Lovesick. Loving this color, it is just absolutely gorgeous. And it's so pretty and so nice. And again, this is another idea Tiffany was doing that I really liked. I had seen a picture on Instagram of a Two Faces for the Holiday look that she did with that Gwen Stefani palette. And the lip in one of them was this. Oh, it looks so awesome. Just make sure it spreads good. Let it dry for a second or so because it's a little bit... Not tacky, just um, a little bit. I don't know what the word is. So anyway, um, I have been using, still, I use this all the time, and I love it, is um, the with Tom Ford. I wanted to say Too Faced. See, the Tom Ford. Um, this blush is just awesome. Back in the day, uh, Kristen Game suggested it to me, and I was like, it doesn't look like anything, but it's awesome. Zero Two Frantic Pink. Oh, helps if I show you the color. Again, it doesn't look like much. So It Cosmetics 227. It's great for those days where you don't want too much pink, but you want a little bit of something just to pop in there. Give you that little extra something. So Too Faced Melted Sugar. And I really just put it right here in the center. Kind of make sure it blends good and you can't see a line there. Some days I will put on the Kat Von D, or no, not Kat Von D, um, Buxom White Russian. Some days I don't. Uh, some days I curl my lashes again if I feel like I want a little bit of extra lashes. And sometimes I don't. That little bit of extra curl and it doesn't stick to that. That's the super nice thing. So my hair is a mess. I'm getting ready to curl my hair. He is not awake yet. So I'll curl my hair and if he's awake, I'll show you guys. You will have already seen him at the beginning. So, so my hair is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions on everything you saw here. And as always, thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye.